Hi, everybody. This is George Foshan, Call Realty, Best Palos Verdes Homes, and it's the 30th of January. I can't believe that I've been doing this. It's going to be almost a year already where I update you on a weekly basis on this YouTube channel about what's happening with how COVID-19 is affecting the Palos Verdes and Beach City's real estate market. So the first thing that you should do is hit the subscribe button on the YouTube video. Really easy to do, and then you'll see that little bell icon. Click that so you can be notified of um, updates to videos that I publish here. We're going to be looking at just the facts. Really interesting quote from John Adams. Um, and uh, I'm going to refrain from making any opinion. At least I'll try. Uh, the first thing that we're going to look at, sale volume, uh, looking at the period of time from the end of December in 2019 to the end of January in 2020, same time frame for this year. Look at what's changed in sale volume. Has COVID affected the market? Yes, I suppose in a positive way, there are more properties being sold. Why? That might be an opinion thing. I'll refrain from that. We can talk about it at other time. But the fact is sale volume up 35% between those two uh, equal uh, months just separated by a year. And uh, let's look at price trends. Price is up almost 6%. Uh, dollar per square foot, almost up 9%. And the ratio in supply and demand has kind of flipped. In the five-month uh, period of time from the end of August through the end of January, there were more properties being brought to the market than what went into escrow. But for the last few weeks in a row, they're, they're well, not quite in a row. That's not quite correct. But for the last few weeks, more weeks have had more pending sales than new listing volume. In other words, as you'll see in the next chart, the ratio between supply and demand is improving in terms of as from a seller's perspective. Because right now, for every 10 new listings coming on the market, almost 11 existing listings are being put into escrow. More properties are being escrowed than what the market can supply. What will that do to prices as we roll out the next few weeks? Supply and demand, folks. It's that simple. So this is the chart of how things have been changing since when Newsom put us in lockdown in March 19th. Again, I'll refrain from an opinion. I've got some ideas. We can talk about it. But the market has improved. Um, let's shift away from uh, uh, market trends and let's get to uh, some interesting things that you can use on my site. Uh, don't go to these companies like Zillow and Realtor.com, Trulia, Redfin, Movo. You know, when you go there, they track your data. They take your personal contact information and they sell it to multiple advertisers and multiple real estate agents. You ever wonder why you're getting bombarded by spam calls? That could be one big reason. Zillow, for example, in their last fiscal year made nearly a billion dollars selling data. Why, why, do, why put yourself in that position? It makes no sense to me. It, it, people do it because they don't realize what's being done. Instead, go to searchhomesinprivate.com. Yes, you'll have to register with your email and uh, mobile number, but that information goes to me and me alone. No one else gets it. I don't share it. I don't sell it for no reason, nothing. Um, and uh, you might want to explore this site right here. No one else has got this technology. Uh, a lot of agents have these uh, what's my home worth tools, but can they tell you how many buyers are actually searching for a home like yours? I mean, how valuable would that be? before you listed your home for sale. Anyway, give it a try. And uh, as a little bonus, the rules have changed uh, 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 in terms of pocket listings. The National Association doesn't like pocket listings. I don't either. It, it uh, invites greed from agents who are trying to double side a commission instead of expose the property to the world. So, uh, I, I, but inventory is so tight as a buyer, you want to know about listings coming soon, and uh, sites like Realtor.com don't show that. Um, mine does. So, you know, 
give me a call, send me a text to this number, and I'll let you know how to take advantage of that little tool. All right, folks, that's it for me. Talk to you later. Thanks very much for watching. See you next week on the next video. All righty, bye.